You think about all the great couples that you know, the story of how they came to be is usually so unique and so heartfelt. But every once in a while, in very few special cases, there's this element of chance or risk involved that you might never have met. As if someone hadn't moved life's chess pieces ever so slightly, your story might never have been written. Until that infamous day, August 23rd, 2009, and Matt happened to be home visiting his parents, Bill and Jennifer, and they decided to play golf at the Grizzly. With some very important tidbits about that day, Matt didn't want to play the Grizzly. He had played it on a prior trip home, and he wanted to try something new. They called over to the Blue Ash, tried to make a tea time, found out the Blue Ash was closed for an all-day tournament that day. Lucky for Matt, Quinlan's ended up right back at the Grizzly. <laughs> Kayla told me she didn't want to work that day. The only reason she did work, because a coworker had called in sick. And what immediately came to my mind was, what if the Blue Ash course was open that day? But what if your coworker hadn't called in sick? Would we all be gathered here today? But someone once defined fate to me, and I thought it really suits the two of you and how you met. And they told me that fate was when you really want something in life to happen. And then it does. And in so doing, it feels like someone or something rearranged your deck chairs to ensure that it happened. Matt and Kayla were smart enough to know this wasn't just love. This was fate. This was family. And now, this is going to be forever. Kayla, I want you to know that I wrote this speech a hundred times over, like even today. And I couldn't think of anything perfect enough to describe just how much I love you. I don't know where I would be without my best friend, but I do know that standing here today on your wedding day is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And as her husband, I understand that now you are her very best friend, and I'm willing to pass that torch. Because I know how happy that you make her, and I know that you are her prince that she has always dreamt about. And I'm certainly confident that your years of happiness ahead will last longer than your time on Survivor. If everyone can raise a glass and join me in congratulating the most beautiful bride in existence and the most handsome groom ever for the, most, the day that we've been waiting so long for, Kayla and Matt. Miss Kayla Quinlan, you are as much a part of this San Francisco family as Matt. We will have your back, just like we have Matt's, and we will love you forever, just like we do Matt. And Matt, you are my very best friend in the whole world. You mean the world to me. We will walk through this life together from this point forward with you and Kayla. I love you guys. I'm so proud to be here speaking for you. It's a huge honor. And I know that I will feel my life deeper because of you. And I will have a hell of a lot more fun through my life because of you. I love you very much. <laughs> to Kayla Quinlan and the best damn fantasy football commissioner in the world, Matthew Quinlan. Cheers.
we were sitting out near a beach in Charleston where we were staying and we were talking about life and friendship and relationships and he told me that in his opinion good relationships are complicated and they're made up of, of a lot of things but 90% of it is just showing up I went home still kept thinking about it because it was very true and uh, started thinking about what makes up the other 10% of good relationships but what I did realize is that that 10% is where all the love is created, where all the laughs are had, and where all the memories are made. So, you guys all showed up. So tonight is about that 10%. So let's love, let's laugh, and let's create some memories. I met you, I knew there was something very special about you. I remember thinking to myself that whoever ends up being with you is going to be a very lucky lady. The fact that I am that lucky lady is the best feeling in the world. I have never been so sure about something in my entire life as I am about becoming your wife. You make me the happiest person on the planet and I know our future together means a life filled with love, happiness, and lots of laughter. I promise to be loyal to you and make you a proud husband. I will respect you always. I love you so much, babe, and I'm so excited to start this next chapter. <laughs> Kayla, when we first met, I admit that I was guarded <laughs> when it came to matters involving love and commitment. <laughs> but over the last six years, those walls <laughs> and that insecurity has vanished. <laughs> you have changed me. <laughs> there are so many things about you that I admire, but the thing I admire most is your selflessness. I've never known anybody who genuinely cares about other people the way that you do. Kayla, I will give you all of my love for the rest of my life. I will give you all of my patience for the rest of my life. And I will give you all of my commitment for the rest of my life. I will never let you go. And with that, I think I've said mostly everything I wanted to say today. <laughs> Except the one thing that everyone here came to hear me say. And that is, by the powers vested in me, by the great state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please.